everybody, it's Nina with Create a Smile, and today I'm sharing a thank you card featuring this uplifting stamp set that is brand new to Create a Smile. I love that little birdie, so cute. So to make my card, I'm going to be using some of the stamps from this set, uh, including the balloon, the two clouds, and the little banner that uh, we're going to actually stamp twice to create a double banner. So taking my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm going to stamp all of these images on a piece of cardstock. And this is 110 pound uh, Nina Solar White cardstock. Just stamping all my images and uh, getting ready to color. You can see I'm stamping two of the banners. We're going to be using half of each one uh, to create our sentiment later on. So I'm starting off with the colors. Uh, this is R uh, RV00. And I'm just using that for a base coat on the clouds and also on two of the stripes. Now I'm coming in with RV21 and I'm adding some mid-tones to my hot air balloon as well as some uh, mid-tones to the clouds as well. And now I'm coming in lastly with RV13 and that's adding the darkest shading. And I'm adding just a little bit of that RV13 to the clouds as well. Blending that all back out with my lightest color. So now I'm moving on to the next part of the balloon, which I'm starting off with R35 as my base coat. And next I'll be taking R29 as the mid-tones and then R37 as the darkest. And I'll just then blend that all out with the red. Now I'm taking C1 and I'm adding some shadows to the banners. Just then adding a little bit of C3 as well. Darken up those shading. Blending it all out. And now I'm adding some faux stitching with a white gel pen just to add some extra details to my little balloon. And I forgot to do the little uh, basket, so I'm just using uh, E53 and E33 for that. So moving on to my uh, background, I'm adding some water to a watercolor piece of paper. And now I'm taking some Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink and I'm adding a wash of color around the entire piece, leaving some white on the edges uh, just to kind of create a watercolor wash right in the middle. I'll dry that with my heat gun, add some water splatter splatters with a wet brush, dab them off to lift the ink up, and now I'll take some of that blue and add some more splatters just to create some interest. So now I'm taking that cloud stamp again and I'm stamping it on my panel um, just to create a guide for where I'm going to be placing the rest of the clouds. So I'll just stamp the three of them and I'll then cover them up with the clouds that I've colored and cut out. So I'm taking this Cindy Etchenall Designs stamp set that's big and small says it all and I cut the thank you apart and I'm stamping that on each side of the banner. So one side will say, say thank and the other side will say you and then we'll later on put those together behind the hot air balloon. So now I'm taking a scoring board and I'm just scoring a border around the edges of this paper just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. I always like doing this to uh, my panels because it makes it really look nice and complete. So now I'm putting these clouds together and I'm just kind of getting a placement as to where I would like them to go and just attaching them all to this background panel. So I attached the hot air balloon and now I'm adding on the little banner pieces. I put a little bit of foam tape on the ends so that they'll stick up more and some regular adhesive to the bottoms so that they, lay, they will lay flat. So now I'm attaching my background panel to a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to cut a scalloped edge around this cardstock just to kind of add some nice finishing uh, edging to it. And as you can see I use, um, I don't cover the entire back with foam tape. It saves foam tape to do it this way. You just place it in these strategic places 
that it will help reinforce the paper and keep it from warping too much or sinking into itself. So just attach that to some cardstock and then I'll go ahead and cut that out with my scissors. So now I'm taking some little punched hearts that I uh, punched out and I'm coloring them with the three pink part markers that I used to color the pink in the balloon. Uh, that was RV00, RV21, and RV13. So then I'll go ahead and attach those with foam tape to my panel. So now I'm taking some Wink of Stella Clear Glitter and I'm applying some glitter to the balloon and also to the little hearts. And that just adds a nice bit of sparkle and shine to the card. I've also attached my panel to the back, to the card base. And finally, I'm adding some white enamel accents to the card as well, just to kind of help finish off the trail that's following the balloon. And that finishes the card. So I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to stop over at the Create a Smile blog where I have more details and pictures on this card. And you can also find the products that I used as well. Thanks for watching.